Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. So as promised in yesterday's video, today we're checking out this new article uh, from Gimetsu. Uh, it says Dragon Quest Monsters, the Dark Prince details story, main characters, world, and new monsters. And if I mispronounce the name of the article, uh, publisher, I apologize. Now I'm going to say right off the bat, I'm not a Dragon Quest uh, connoisseur or uh, expert, okay? I've played some Dragon Quest XI. I've uh, seen lots of gameplay from various Dragon Quest games, but I'm not an expert. So if there's things that are discussed that I'm not entirely sure about, that's probably why. Um, <laughs> but let's let's dive into this. So Square Enix has released new information and screenshots uh, for Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince. The newly announced official third numbered entry in the Dragon Quest Monsters series, including the game's story, main characters, world, and new monsters. The story. This ed uh, new adventure follows Sorrow, is, I think is how you say that, a name that Dragon Quest fans may remember from Dragon Quest, what is that, four chapters of The Chosen. Although since this game is completely standalone, it doesn't matter if you don't. Poor Sorrow is cursed with the uh, by his own father, the ruler of the monster realm of Nadiria, and rendered incapable of harming any creature of monster blood. In defense, Sorrow becomes a master wrangler and soon commands his very own army of loyal monster minions. On his quest, on his quest for revenge against his father, he met Rose, a young evilish woman, and a mysterious man who goes by the name Toilin Trouble. Together, they head off to face perils awaiting them in Nadiria. Sorrow's ultimate goal is vengeance, but he'll need to befriend many monsters and tread many dark paths before he's capable of fulfilling that ambition. So you kind of, you're kind of not necessarily a very heroic person in this game, and I love it. Uh, the characters, as you'd expect uh, from a game bearing the Dragon Quest name, this monster wrangling adventure is filled with colorful characters. Let's introduce some of the main players. Uh, we have Sorrow which is um, the main protagonist of the story. He's a young demi-human whose silver hair and red eyes make him in, uh, instantly recognizable. He sets out to become a master wrangler in order to defeat his father, the master of monster kind. Uh, Rose, uh, Rose is an invaluable ally who joins him on his forays into Nadiria and uses her mystical elven powers to reveal a path through uh, this foreboding land. Rose is gentle, kind-hearted, uh, but afraid to stand up but sorry but unafraid to stand up in what she believes in you have toilin <laughs> who names their kid toilin bro a young researcher of magic whose self-confessed uh propensity for five finger discounts toilin joins sorrow to scour in Adiria for magical ingredients not found in the human world he's known to get a little more than excitable at the prospect of finding rare items fizzy this cheeky creature has made her life's mission to seek out the best and brightest monster wranglers of the world. Fizzy becomes something of a mentor to Sar. Okay, so Navi, basically. Uh, the varied vistas of Nadiria. Much of the story um, takes place in this, oh wow, underworld domain where monsters reign supreme. Nadiria is divided into different realms called circles. Each of one comprises of three separate areas, a lower, middle, and upper uh, echelon. This is the circle of temper, the circle of indulgence, uh, a world that changes with the season. So yeah, there are seasonal changes based on the time, which is pretty cool. Uh, so meet the monsters. There are a few different ones we're going to have here. So um, well, I'll, I'll read the little blurb about it first, then we'll get into it. So uh, Dragon Quest Monsters, The Dark Prince is the newest game in the Dragon Quest Monster series. As tradition dictates, the main character is adept in forming powerful bonds with the monsters they meet. These monster allies will join their hero on their adventure, fighting in their stead against the enemies they encounter. In that sense, the game is no different, but unlike its predecessor, Sorrow is under the influence of a curse placed upon him by his father, the ruler of Nadiria. As a result, he is unable to harm any creature of monster blood himself, so he has to get the monsters to fight for him. Sorrow resolves uh, to become a monster wrangler, training up his team uh, with over 500 different types of monsters and a revamped synthesis system. There are brand new monster combinations to discover and many familiar friends and arc enemies from other titles in the Dragon Quest series to create. And with the game's online capabilities, you can now do, wow, okay, so they even have online battling. So here you got the slime, you got whatever this is. Oh, we got this guy, Cirque showed me this. Uh, Goom, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna butch this. Oh, Goomulonimbus. These sneaky slimes summon thunderstorms and gales from the comfort of their cloud. We got, uh, uh, what is this? Vegan Dragora. This dragon maintains a symbiotic relationship with a flower that sprouts on its head. Uh, Roman Raccoon. This thing's dope. 
uh, uh, this monster appears deep into the psyche of its foes to determine how best to strike them down. Uh, and there's going to be day one downloadable content. Three sets of downloadable content will go on sale to coincide with the release. Uh, the main game, the Molehole Coach Joe's Dungeon and Treasure Trunks progress through additional content to earn rewards to help you on your quests, as well as outfits for Sorrow to wear. Content will be available to purchase from the eShop. So I'm not a huge fan of day one DLC, even if it is just cosmetic. Uh, we'll have to see exactly what it is, but we got some information here. So the mole hole, uh, delve underground for a reunion with monster types you've befriended once before. You'll also have the opportunity to scout monsters that are otherwise very tricky to synthesize. See, it gives you like a, an in-game edge. I know it's a single player game, but I, I mean, primarily it does have online battles, but you know. Coach Joe's Dungeon Gym. Explore these randomly generated dungeons and legions of powerful monsters. Each dungeon comes with its unique requirements that require players to carefully assess their uh, and construct their ability, sorry, their party, uh, dispatch the boss that awaits in the final room. So sort of like the uh, chalice dungeons from Dark Souls, or sorry, from Bloodborne. Uh, treasure trunks, every time you open these mysterious treasures, you obtain an exciting reward. However, you'll have to wait a little while before you can open it up again. So the, the, I'm a little, okay, I, I don't like this being extra content. I feel like this should just be part of the game. Like adding, you know, the random, I, I'm... I don't like day one DLC. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. I, I, I'm going to be honest. Like, just have the game be the game. You know what I mean? Um, you guys can give me your thoughts on that. I don't like it. I mean, and I might get flack for saying this, but let's look at the upcoming Pokemon DLC. At least Dragon Quest is being transparent about it. Pokemon acts like, <laughs> like they're adding all this stuff. Meanwhile, the main attraction is, hey, look, guys, you can catch all the National Dex Pokemon in this new area that we cut out. So, I mean, at least they are being transparent about it instead of pretending <laughs> that they're adding new stuff. But, you know, let me know what you guys think about that. But all in all, pretty interesting article. Definitely like some of the monster designs here, especially the raccoon guy. He's pretty cool. And, and Dragon Quest does have sort of like derpy monsters. Like a lot of them are kind of derpy, and I love it. So I'm pretty excited for this game nonetheless. I do think that this game being successful could definitely mark a milestone for the genre. And I, 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 I don't know, Dragon Quest Treasures is actually a really good game. So I'm hoping that this game sort of has the same amount of attention to detail and quality and stuff like that. So anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace.